By the end of the war in 1945, Oakland was no longer the major commercial air center on the West Coast. That title now belonged to San Francisco. But the huge numbers of pilots returning from the war needed jobs, and many started flying for charter airlines out of Oakland. Three great ones, the largest in the world in their time, developed here. And that was initially Transocean Airlines under Orvis Nelson, which became a huge operation headquartered here at Oakland, followed by World Airways under Ed Daly, which did the same thing. And uh, then the third one, Transamerica Airlines. Those were huge operations, and all of which were innovators. The Oakland Airport uh, was preferred by most pilots that flew in and out of either San Francisco or Oakland. They preferred Oakland because it wasn't as crowded and uh, the terrain around Oakland Airport was certainly more favorably and uh, favorable for flying. Bill Keating flew in and out of Oakland for nearly 40 years, first for Transocean, the largest airline of its kind pioneering low-cost charters to Europe and Hawaii, training thousands of pilots and flight attendants. But Transocean's finances were always precarious. We were always on the verge of bankruptcy, and sometimes the paychecks didn't come through on time. And in 1960, Transocean went bankrupt. Its facilities were taken over by World Airways, and its daring and dynamic president, Edward Daly, I admire Ed greatly because he was a very innovative guy, took a lot of risks. He grew his airline from scratch into a huge airline, a non-scheduled airline, as we mentioned, one of the three that had headquarters here at successive times at Oakland. 